AMC here. Welcome back to the channel. We have a nice little rifle on loan for review. So this one is a J. Stevens stamped 22 long. And it is from the 1930 era. I believe it was built from 1911 to 1933. Uh, this particular markings on the barrel put it in the era of about 1916 forward. I'll throw the camera up on a stand here and give you a little bench top review. So chamber is clear on this rifle. This is a single shot or as the ATF would like to call it, a full automatic. You load the firearm, you pull the trigger, and it will fire until all the rounds have been shot. I guess they probably haven't considered that definition. But uh, yeah, cool little loading feature. This lever slides down. The cartridge then loads in the back. The hammers in a half cock position. You go to a full cock, pull the hammer or pull the trigger, drop the hammer, fire the round, go back to a mid mid cock or half cock position. You can open the open the breech. It's got an extractor, so it'll pull the spent cartridge out. Load another round in. Go back to fire. Drop the hammer, fire another round. And this particular model is a takedown model. So with this thumb screw, oops, let's drop that. You can break that down, throw that in a gunny sack or backpack, um, briefcase or whatever you carried with you back in the 1930s. So a very slick little design. Simplistic with the sights. Nice stock. Nice wood grain on that. The barrel is stamped. Little Scout 22 Long Rifle. Uh, July 2nd of 07 is probably the, oh, that's the patent date and the 14 and a half inch. Uh, just has a soldered on rear sight. A little pinned extractor. Just a small little groove milled into the bottom of the barrel with a roll pin tossed in there to keep it captive. So very, very simplistic design, a small dovetail cut into the barrel here for your takedown. This one actually slides in the dovetail, so I'm not sure if that is meant to do that um, or if that's just a sign of, of time and age. But either way, uh, and then the forestock or toothpick uh, it's just held captive with one small screw. And when we remove that screw, they just drilled and tapped into the barrel for the screw to hold the forestock on. So very, very simplistic design. Yeah, uh, this piece of wood is older than my grandfather. So take care of your tools and they will stick around for a very, very long time. Um, can't, yeah, this barrel is actually rifled. So looking down the bore, there is some rifling in there. Probably not going to be able to pick that up on the camera. But I do have some 22 short ammunition. I'll run through here, take this out to the range and run a couple of rounds through it.
small little SVG stamped here on the back half of the receiver. You know what I've just realized? This is a ghost gun. There are no serial numbers on this one. Oh my gosh. How in the world did people in the 1930s survive without serial numbers on their firearms? It's just absolutely mind-boggling that the world still exists because somebody didn't have a identifying number stamped into a piece of steel. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Hey, maybe law enforcement was a lot better back then, or... Maybe people actually had ethics, morals, and characters in the 30s. Who knows? Let's get some bullets. Take this thing out and see what it sounds like and check the mechanics. So, yeah, here's uh, the internals. So really simplistic, so this little um, knob here, so to speak, will index in with the, um, with the barrel to work your extractor. So as you slide this up, it is going to drag everything into the barrel. Uh, this one's just a floating firing pin. So there's not really much going on inside of there other than a little little pin that floats back and forth. So as the rim sits up against the, the face of this block, that's going to allow the firing pin to uh, recess. Then there is a small little piece exposed that the hammer can actually come into contact with. So as you pull the trigger, that's going to roll. Oops, wait a minute. This is going to be down a little bit lower because that's going to be in contact with the barrel. So then your firing pin lines up with your hammer. Really slick, simplistic design from the turn of the century.